My name is Gordon Leader Jim Schofield. I'm from the UK's Royal Air Force. My frontline type was the Harrier back in the UK. Uh, and then after test pilot training, I went on to instruct on a test pilot school. F-35 has revolutionized Stovall operations compared with legacy types such as Harrier. The pilot has a Stovall button in the cockpit. He just needs to push that and the aircraft transforms behind him. Uh, in that mode, the aircraft is capable of taking off and hovering automatically, so it uh, requires very little, if any, input from the pilot, which makes it safer and it requires less training for pilots. Compared to uh, when I first vertically landed the Harrier, that was a very strange sensation. All through training, you're told, never get low and slow. But in the Harrier, you're getting uh, slower and slower, and you're having to power up and power up on the throttle uh, to keep it at level. In F-35, once you push the, the Stovall button, you really just point at the, the hover pad and bring the throttle back to decelerate the aircraft and the aircraft, the automatics then take care of the rest. So it's a much more controlled environment than in legacy types. It distracts you much less. Both UK and Marine pilots will be operating F-35Bs from Queen Elizabeth class and from LHD uh, class aircraft carriers. So obviously Stovall is, is essential to operate F-35 from those platforms. A big milestone event for the UK is the stand-up of its operational test squadron out at Edwards Air Force Base in California um, towards the middle of 2014. Uh, the UK are very excited about being able to uh, test these jets in an operational construct. Future pilots are going to love this aircraft. I remember when I flew Harrier, uh, a lot of the sortie I was worrying about the landing, be it in the woods to a hover pad or back to an aircraft carrier. With this jet, pilots will need to carry out much less training with respect to Stovall operations. So that means they can spend much more of the time, either in the aircraft or in the simulator, practicing war fighting, which are the skills they really need to be on top of, particularly in a jet that can do so much compared with legacy types.